This news is on the road this October, showing you the people and places that make Western New York so special. And today we're on Grand Island helping you break a sweat. It's a fast growing sport with hundreds of dedicated players right here in Western New York and just over the border as well. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent shows us a game with a peculiar name. We have 12 year olds that come and, and play very well. We have an 82 year old that, that comes uh, three times a week. All walks of life running around on one court. It's amazing, we are packed every time we're open. Pickleball Island, a draw for lovers of a sport where you just need a paddle, a ball, and a little competition. It's like ping pong, but you're standing on the ping pong table, you know, um, and that's really the best way to explain it. You, it plays just like ping pong or just like tennis where you switch sides, you volley. The scoring is a little weird where you actually call your score, your opponent's score, and then the number server you are because each team gets to serve twice. Pickleball Island, packed to capacity at 5 a.m. It started with just three courts less than a year ago, and today there are seven. It's a good feeling to see that it's growing, but really it's all about the people. The people love the sport so much that you got to put in more courts. The founder and the mayor of Pickleball Island, Ken Knight, opened this building when he couldn't find a space to play during Western New York's long winters. He's been able to share his love of the game with Western New Yorkers and Canadians who travel across the border daily to play. Personally trained over 250 first time players since last October and most of them keep coming back. They're enthusiasts. Mayor Ken's goal isn't to make money here. It's to pass on this game that grandparents can play with their grandchildren. It's five dollars for, for a three hour play, so it's not about the money. Really, it's, it's about the game and, and the camaraderie and, and the great people. On the road on Grand Island, Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News.